PTO established a dedicated team of engineers in 2008 to start bringing front-end engineering design work in-house. PTO is endowed and blessed with the operatorship of the Block 6 concession and is challenged by the huge diversity of oil and gas fields with various degrees of complexity. These challenges and the unwavering commitment to resolve them has led to PDO's global recognition for its technical and operational excellence. Over 50 years of exploration and development has led to the successful transition from primary recovery mechanisms, simple production on natural flow, eventually aided by artificial lift, to secondary recovery mechanisms with water flood and pressure maintenance to increase pressure and sweep efficiency, and finally through tertiary mechanisms where we essentially attack the physical properties of oil, immiscible, thermal, or polymer applications. Critical to the success has been the establishment of a world-class front-end engineering design office, which is a real source of pride and competitive advantage for PDO. The establishment of PDO Feed Office has been a turning point for the project delivery in PDO. In the 90s, all major front-end engineering work was outsourced overseas. The project experienced cost and schedule overruns in execution, and most importantly, PDO staff missed out on core technical development opportunities. Front-end engineering is a vital and a defining phase of any project. If you get your feed right, you will not only get your cost estimates right, all other phases of project execution will go smoothly. This leads to timely project delivery. This is what Feed Office is all about. Over time, the Feed Office has proven its mantle by delivering top-class feed works within time and quality recognized by the industry's leading EPC contractors. Feed Office also plays a major role when it comes to standardization, replication, and goes a long way towards adding value to PDO and all its stakeholders. With its humble beginning in 2007, with less than 30 staff, Feed Office Overtime has built exponential growth in all engineering disciplines. With a present strength of 250 staff, the Feed Office has engineering capacity to deliver any project. In process engineering, apart from conventional simulation and sizing capabilities, the Feed Office has recently developed niche flow assurance and heat transfer capabilities. Technical safety engineering have developed the full spectrum of capabilities such as complex QRA and dispersion studies and fire, water, hydraulic modeling capabilities. Control and automation capabilities include conventional control and safeguarding, telecoms, SIL studies and system architectures. Electrical capabilities encompasses OHL design and complex protection studies. Civil, structural and HVAC teams represents building foundations and HVAC designs. Pipelines team, a part of convention route and alignment diagrams, are able to undertake complex stress analyses. Mechanical capabilities include design and modeling of static equipment, such as separator vessels, piping, material selection and rotating equipment such as compressors etc. EDS includes administration and troubleshooting of all engineering tools, for example PDMS, SPI and AutoCAD. The projects and service teams effectively manages the interface between the different disciplines, maintains management and control systems that ensure projects are delivered on time within cost. QA QC. With a robust ISO 9001-2015 quality accreditation, the Feed Office has achieved no non-conformances for the past seven years. Moreover, due to external market outset, the Feed Office in 2015 has successfully transitioned to include detailed design delivery as well. Main learning from the previous feed which was taken into the latest uh, projects such as SNDC2 and KDC2 are standardization feed deliverables replication, vendors engagements during the feed which helped in the procurement process, and some other learnings as well. All this learning resulted in completing the latest two projects four months ahead of uh, contractual schedule. The RHIP project was uh, the first major project to be done in the field office. This meant that the field office had to go through a major step change in terms of resources required 
and skills required to execute uh, such a complex and uh, big size project. We received very good feedback from uh, the bidders and uh, their feedback was that it was of a very high quality. One of key benefits of having an in-house field office is that learnings from one project can be cascaded to another project. In our case, the Bab Harwell project learnings were used in the development of the Ibar port. My first involvement with the field office was uh, back in 2013 and 2014 when we did bigger projects uh, the, for feed work. And uh, since then, uh, I think they have gone from strength to strength. Our recent involvement in the North, uh, Northern Directorate, where we engage them with a number of uh, Upper Shuraiva projects, and I think they have done very, very well. And I think uh, the, feed the decision to, to, to uh, set up a feed office uh, by PTO was a good decision. With an ever-changing oil and gas industry, the feed office continues to transition accordingly. With the recent inclusion of procurement capabilities in the feed office, in the coming years, the feed office will adapt to meet PDO business needs. PDO, proud to serve Oman.